Hello, this is Jason from Christ Center Gamer uh, doing the GPD Win 2 unboxing. And I thought I'd have a little fun with it, and unfortunately I don't have a helper today, so you can't see me. But you can see the history of all the handheld consoles I've had here. We've got the old Game Boy Original. Yes, I bought that with my own money a long, long time ago. Game Boy Advance, Game & Watch, the uh, DS Lite. I had a regular DS to trade it in. A 3DS and a Switch, and of course on the Sony side, the PSP and the Vita. And the GPD Win, which is probably the most used, probably along with the, well, maybe the 3DS is the most used, but I certainly love the, the GPD Win very much. And uh, over here we have accessories for the GPD Win, which I'll get to in a moment. And now we have the GPD Win 2. To say I'm excited about this very powerful, possibly the most powerful handheld in the world is an understatement. So let's go ahead and open this up. One handed, which is always a challenge while trying to focus on the box and keeping the camera in place. All right, that was cool. My toes. See, I could wait till my kids got home, but then I'd have to wait till my kids got home. That doesn't work, does it? All right, look what we got here. A GPD box. Seems pretty well wrapped. The top was a little crushed, so hopefully it doesn't mean anything for the contents. Looks okay so far. All right, and we've got GPD's very nice box. I think I might win one box somewhere. Look pretty similar to this, with a nice logo and nice pad. Oh, win two on the side, cool. And a serial number and various fun things like that. And another win two, and a blank bottom. All right, here we go. Look at that. Nice protective thing here that hopefully meant my winter didn't get crushed. Look at that beauty. And we've got cables and a power brick. Power bricks are good. A USB-C cable because it's all modern nowadays here. Pure C. It should go into that little plug. Yep. And the Wintu itself. This is a pretty nice uh, box. They've been good about that. Let's see, we've got... Let me get rid of my little knife. I don't think I need that anymore. All right. So we've got the system. And we've got this piece of foam, which just holds the strap. Got it. And another piece of foam, which is there for protection. We've got a manual, which... Oh. I'll make sure that's redeemed before you see this. And... Slots, SSD cards. Yeah, this is really neat. You can actually have, oh, swap out the SSD. Proper fan. The new keyboard style. All the new ports. And here's our specs with an HDMI Type C ports for the video. Some cool stuff in Chinese I can't read. And. Oh, warranty card. Look at that. Oh, I can read this one. There we go. Type C data cable. Power cable, user manual. And there it is. So, let us see what if there's anything else hidden in this box. That doesn't look like it's meant to come apart. So, I'm going to I'm going to say no. All right. So, let's uh figure out how to open this one-handed. Oh, we got a little sticker on the bottom. All right. There it is. Oh, it, does it have a film on top or no? It's just a... Interesting. Okay, so it doesn't appear to... It, it feels like... It seems like it has a covering, but it doesn't. I don't see any sticker. <clears throat> Here is the uh, bottom. You can see the SSD holder there. Fan opening. The serial number. There's a little embossed uh, thing here, little bumps, which people, many people have said aren't enough for proper airflow. And we've got the back of the SSD cage, which is right there. And then Type-C port, Type-A port, micro USB, a mini, or a micro HDMI instead of a mini on the win. And these triggers, which feel like they're going to last a lot longer. They feel very nice. 
And then last but not least, let's open. Oh, we got a little divot right here to make it easier to open. Nice. And uh, drum roll, please. There it is. The GPD Win 2. We've got our arrow key, our Wasted keys, our arrow keys, our, our watermelon button. Funny joke. No, uh, Xbox button. Uh, and our volume. Oh, that's nice. And, and oh, the screen brightness is a button now. Sweet. And we've got our function keys, escape, print screen. All right. And our switch for mouse mode versus X input mode. And a microphone. All right. Well, I would love to turn it on for you. But I think I'm going to save that for another time because I want to pull the drive out before I even turn it on and do some this duplication and all that kind of stuff. But what I will do is answer the question that so many people have been asking. Does the ZMI charger I just reviewed charge this device? So here is the ZMI charger with the ports. So I'm gonna stick that there. Okay. And then let me just close this. Plug it in the back. Right there. And what do we got? We got a blinking light, which I believe says it's charging. This thing is showing a power draw. Yep, it's showing a power draw. So it works. I will prove that more. Oh, I forgot. You just now noticed that phone jack. I will prove that more as uh, I continue to work on this thing, but uh, there we go. Enjoy.